Hello, everyone. So this is a, another simple activity which you have to complete by following the instructions that are given by me in the video. You are not supposed to skip any one sim single second because every second has to be watched carefully. All right. So uh, when you open this file, you find uh, some sort of uh, supporting documents at the bottom. Just click on this one and click on this one. It will download to Excel files. One file consists of uh, company details that is top 150 companies data. And another file consists of a financial analysis template that is developed by me. It's a model, financial model, which you can use to generate data. Okay, like whatever the uh, tasks that are mentioned here, these five tasks you will be finishing using that. All right. So uh, let me show you the template. This is the template that is prepared by me. So financial model it is. By updating some data, you can simply modify everything like you will get fresh data when you open this okay you just by changing the company names and changing some sort of data and providing a small paragraph in each page regarding what analysis you performed what you identified what key elements you identified that is enough okay so this activity requires very less time so it's up to you like to what extent you understood based on that you mention your details all right so First, what we do is like we go to the 150 companies data. Just click on it. It opens like this. Just open NASDAQ. Scroll it down and just check any company. It's 150 companies data. And after 120, you take one company. Okay. So one by one, like um, based on your ID. Say for example, if your ID ends with nine, 139 or 129 you select. Okay, if your number ends with 127, just select any 107, 127 from seven to, from seven, you take any, Number company number ending seven, maybe like 67, 77, any one company from that. Just say, for example, my number ends with one, so I am taking 61 or 51. I'll take. I don't want to use these things, classic common stuff, just I will take company name. Okay, I'm taking company name, and uh, this is the sheet that I have prepared. You just enter your name, company name. So when we enter it, just cross check whether all sheets got the same name or not. All right, so all sheets should get same name. So I see same name on all the four sheets that I have prepared. And the first data is related to balance sheet. If you observe one thing, when I make changes here, so, so for example, A, it automatically changes value. It clearly states that I have used some sort of formula that is a random formula and generated some values. All right. So what we should do? We are supposed to make them static. Now these are random and formula based values that are generated. So what we should do? We are supposed to make them static. Say for example, if I enter A, again it changes. So every second, every simple change in the document, it changes the value. So whenever you add company name, just simply come here and copy it. Control C and press Alt separately, E separately, S separately. You get like this, present values. Okay. Now if you check them, they are simply values they are not formulas you are not supposed to change these things these are the calculated values you need not to change this and no changing of these values sum only in the first balance sheet wherever you found this data this kind of colored data here just copy and alt e s all separately and just click on values it copy paste values okay these are values again now again come down here, just copy it, Alt E S, values, 
So you are supposed to convert all these things into values to ensure that they won't change again. So formulas has to be present. So the calculated formulas are already there. Just the random generated values, I am making them static. So otherwise what happens when we click on this, this, this is how it shows. I want to make it static. So I'm just copying and just pasting the values here. Okay, now it is not a formula. These are values. So this page is done. After that, this page is just copy from the first page. So all the values, whatever you have mentioned there, that will be copied and pasted here. So need not to make any changes over here. Now operational, in this operational, again, revenue details are, these are random values. In the third page, in the operations horizontal page, you are supposed to again copy and paste only values. Copy and paste only values. Just copy these one. Values. Copy and values. Now copy. values say for example this one is there right just make sure you change them to values okay these all are formulas need not to change anything by doing this you already done with your sheet horizontal analysis okay this is uh, balance sheet horizontal and uh, second one is balance sheet component and third one is uh, operations horizontal origin operations component all values are by default calculated okay next what we do is we go for ratio uh, we are supposed to calculate written on <coughs> investment so simply these all values are, are generated directly automatically everything is calculated you just need to make a comment on this okay see when you see the first balance sheet just rename this sheet so according to your understanding based on the question that is asked so the first question asked is prepare horizontal analysis of the balance sheet so what we did we took all balance sheet detail from some financial report annual report and we created this one assume it like that and we are discussing about a horizontal things so by following these things like what is the current assets value total current sets total assets in this total current assets what is total current assets value and uh, how it got changed over a period of time in one year that you have to make a comment next to how the current liabilities total liabilities total assets you are supposed to comment on all those four details current assets and current liabilities total assets and total liabilities you are supposed to comment on it how, what is the value it got changed and what to what extent what percentage it got changed whether it is a good or not that you are supposed to comment Next, balance sheet component. In this, uh, every year, uh, see, when you take this formula, what is the formula? F20 by F$20. F$20 is this one. This is 100%. In this total value, what is the cash percentage? What is the in transit percentage, accounts receivable percentage, what are the inventories percentage? This detail you can understand. So by component percentage, you will understand. If you take total assets, there are different type of total assets. There are these all are different type of total asset values. So each to, uh, type of asset, how much percentage it is in total assets value. Similarly, in liabilities, 
there are different type of liabilities among the total liability what is the percentage of each liability is having so like that you are supposed to comment you can take three or four elements and you can mention them okay so this is a simple activity next uh, hello So next, horizontal analysis, again, you should make a comment on total revenue, uh, maybe operating income, loss, whatever the elements you choose, you just discuss how it changed between 2023 to 2022 to 2023 and 2021 to 2022. You just need to discuss, select uh, some random uh, name, names and uh, discuss about them. Same kind of thing, how each uh, total, in, say for example, if you have total what we say total sales total sales in total revenue how different elements that are presented below the annual report in the annual report are valuing so that you have supposed to discuss okay if you don't want this information you can remove that's fine it has no meaning so you can remove them this is unnecessary information that we are having till this it's fine Okay, in the operation sheet below, whichever we are not using in the percentage calculation that we can remove. Sorry. So this data is useful. Actually, this data is useful in ratio analysis. So please keep them. I'm really sorry about it. Okay. So if you don't have that information over there, we cannot generate these values. So finally, on uh, return on equity, or like ROE value, based on the ROE value, you are supposed to make a comment on how the company's ROE value is there. What is the optimal value? And based on the value the company is having, what kind of interpretation we can make. And double click on this graph, you can change it, you can modify it into different styles. That's fine, okay? That's it, that is enough. And uh, you also, you can change a name, name on the file, okay? So here, written on equity, you can write, the company's written on equity, company name and written on equity, like that in combinations, you can select any name. Only thing is, I don't want any plagiarism in your document. So to avoid plagiarism, what we did, so we properly performed the activity, okay, these all are changed static values. We commented on the work that we have performed. So on the values, we are making some sort of a small paragraph com comment on that in each section. By doing that, it makes some difference in your document, okay? So in addition to that, you just change these names, okay? If it is like total revenues, the company's total revenue, revenue generated by the company. Like that, you can make some sort of modifications. Please make sure you modify it. You got me? So it's a simple activity. If you make some sort of modifications here, it will definitely... So when you make some some sort of changes in this page, it automatically reflects in this page. Okay. So if you want to ref reflect, you just copy and paste it. After that, if you make any changes here, it automatically reflects here. If it won't reflect, you just copy that complete data that whatever it is there in the, whatever we made changes here, you just copy it here. And uh, same thing, you just paste in the same column. It will be done. Okay. So make sure that the data is same. So let me do one thing. What I do, I, I can make a proper uh, formula like uh, it will reflect there. Okay. Anyhow, whatever the document I send, when you make some changes over here, it will be creating changes in your document. So take my point. You are supposed to create a unique document. If you want to make a unique document, these data has to be changed accordingly. Okay, so some brain, say for example, if this is total stakeholders equity, you can mention like the complete when adding up all the stakeholders equity, like that you can say some of uh, stakeholders equity, like that you can say it's up to you, like in what way you mention. So randomly by default, tup, tup, we are supposed to change it. Okay, if you think about, think about it by taking a lot of time, you will end up somewhere when randomly when you look at this revolving line of credit. Otherwise, 
So I don't want any suggestions to be made here. Simply whatever is, that comes into mind, what you can add. See, you, to make it different, you are supposed to add some data or you are supposed to remove some data. So simply removing, so many people will try to remove data. So I don't recommend it. I recommend you people to add up some data and make some larger document, larger line, some big line out of those three words. All right. So that is it from my side. By completing this document, by doing these changes, first thing is changing name, converting uh, random values into static values. First, change the name, convert random values into static values in two pages, balance sheet horizontal and operation sheet horizontal. Okay. After that, go to ratio analysis and change this graph. Make uh, enough changes to that okay you can change title of the you are supposed to change the title of the graph that helps you to make um, that helps you to look uh, that uh, make that graph different and look unique okay if you want to like uh, change the location of these uh, values just click control x and uh, paste it somewhere it automatically generates the uh, same content there okay it helps you to make difference Okay, so you can change. Second, the final one is you are supposed to change the names. See the names that are allocated to different type of data that has to be changed. Okay, in all lines, like in uh, say for example, in you are supposed to change in uh, operate balance sheet horizontal, operation sheet horizontal. Then you are supposed to make change in this ratio analysis. You got it. That's it from my side. It's a simple activity. Finish it as quick as possible. All the best. Thank you.